Welcome back to part two of this crazy unbox. If you have not checked out part one, I will have it in the description box below. Definitely go check that out. There's some amazing cars right here. We're gonna go ahead and move this bag. Hopefully we can finish out this box and then we can move on to part three and part four. Hopefully we can get those all in a third part and not into two extra episodes, but we'll get to that when we do guys. To start things off, bear with me. There are a lot of loose castings. Check this out. First one to start off this episode, we have a beautiful Ford Focus right here. Check this out. This is very close to the color that just recently came out for 22, except this is more of a darker blue without the racing stripes. So you do have the chrome PR5s all the way around. Little Focus RS front badging right there on the grill. Super clean. Um, and then partnered up, you have the Coney version of the Ford Focus RS. Check this out, guys. Beautiful pearl white and the black J5s with the red chrome ring. Look at that. This one's actually super clean. I think I have this one loose. It could be a different casting. I don't know, guys. There's so much stuff in here. I forget what I have. Next one. Ooh, here we go. Check out that Launcha, guys. Look at that. But first off, we got this beautiful Corvette. Is this the red edition? I think this was the Corvette red edition for last year, the C7 Z06. I believe it is. You guys let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure this was the Target red edition Z06. Look at this. Man, this is nice. And right here, guys, look at the Stratus. Oh man, that is beautiful. Oh my God. So it looks like it's out of the Hot Wheels graphic series. It's got the Hot Wheels flame and the number 44, but look at that silver metallic and the yellow lace wheels. That just, that just looks really good together. I would never thought that color combination would look so good, but check that out. I have the first edition and I think a mystery model of this one. I think this makes the third variation of the Lancia Stratos. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, we got another Ford Focus and don't tell me how to look at that. Oh my God, guys. We have a third mystery model, 396 Chevelle. Check that out, guys. Number three. Oh man, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of offers on the mystery model Chevelle. And here we go, the Ford Focus. Check out this livery. Oh yeah, that is cool. You got the you got the first half of the Hot Wheels flame right there, it just says hot. Oh, and check that out, they finished it on the other side. <laughs> nice, so you got the hot on one side and wheels on the other. That is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen them do that on another casting, but Check it out, you have the really nice coupe. You got the deco on the hood with the heat extractors. I like this Ford Focus version, um, probably the best um, outside of the hatchbacks. But check it out, you got the staggered fitted MC5s in black with the red chrome. Beautiful pearlescent orange though, or more of a yellowish orange. Look at that, that is nice. All right, next up, I've been eyeballing this gasser right here, guys. Oh my, I didn't realize it had real riders. Look at that. Oh man, Bad Gasser does not justify how awesome this casting is. Look at that. Oh man, I don't even know what release series or whatever it came out of. You guys let me know, but look at this burnt orange, man. That is awesome looking. I'm definitely digging the deco. It's really sweet looking, but check out those real riders, guys. That is wicked. And then followed up, you got the Dodge Charger right here. I think this is a 71. Uh, 69 Dodge Charger. I'm definitely way off on my Mopars. But there we go. Nice yellow enamel with the red and pink flames. Got the red chrome five spokes all the way around. A little staggered fitted right there. Very nice Mopar. All right, next up, uh-oh, we got some R35s. Check this out, all my R35 lovers out there. We got the black R35. Check that out. I don't think I have an all black one except for the newest uh, Kroger exclusive with the red stripes. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You got the chrome J5s all the way around. 
Yeah, this one's dusty dusty, but we'll get it cleaned up. It looks good from far, but far from good. Here we go, we got the pearl white R35 with the chrome 10 spokes. Look at that. Oh yeah, tampos look good. You got the Nissan plate, same as the other one. So I'm curious if these came out of the factory fresh or not. Next up, there we go. We got the custom Ford Mustang and the Civic hatch. Now this is another favorite Mustang casting. I absolutely love this body kit on there. The wide fenders, you got that massive wing. Look at that, man, that is just, that is just an aggressive coyote right there. Nice heat extractors, chrome Y5s. I think I have a couple loose variations of this one. And then right here, guys, everyone's a huge fan, especially me, of the Civic hatchback. Uh, it looks like an 87 to 89 Civic EF. I don't know, you guys let me know down at the bottom, but my buddy had one of these, it was sky blue. And that thing was just nice. It was in very good condition, but I love the yellow enamel with the black and red stripes. Oh yeah, I love the red interior. Very, very nice. Gotta love those JDMs. All right, next up, ooh, look at that. This reminds me so much of the car from Vegas Vacation. Check out this Dodge Viper. Oh man, I have not seen this setup. And I love the red with yellow, guys. That is nice. And check it out, they actually did the tail lights. It's actually an off red. That way it doesn't blend into the red enamel. I like that. Yellow five spokes. Oh yeah, that is awesome looking. Now I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't like it, but I think that is sweet. Nice, and it's in super good condition. And then next up, you have the NSX in yellow. One I do not have. You got the nice tail light tampos, rear diffusers, the black PR5s, and you have some black striping on the side. Look at that smoked glass. Oh yeah, I love an NSX, guys. Those were way ahead of its time in the 90s. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, look at that. Oh, we got another van with real riders, but what's sitting next to it? Ooh, there we go. We got the Evo 10. Check this out guys, nice blue. You got, it looks like clone on the side. Clone, it looks like R something. Check that out, chrome J5s all the way around. Nice, very nice. Right here guys, check this out, what is this? Look at that, you got the Darth Vader, but what is this casting called? Spoiler Sport. Check that out, look at those real riders. Interesting casting, love the wheels. This is wild looking. It's got some weight to it. All right, next up, uh-oh, we got a Mopar and another Ford Transit van. Now he sent me this one carded in the first package and here we go, we have it loose, guys. You got the black OH5s, beautiful blue metallic and the Hot Wheels race flame. Yeah, I love that. And then followed up, you got the SRT Charger. Check out this big body four-wheel right here. Very nice red enamel. Got the Hellcat badges right there on the fender. Black PR5s, this is clean. Oh yeah. I know my buddy Raul would be all over that Hellcat. All right, next up, we got the Greenwood Corvette and a lowrider. Check this out, guys. Oh man, I've been trying to find all of these. I had passed up so many variations at Fry's and seeing customs of this or just simple wheel swaps of this Greenwood Corvette. These things are so awesome and underrated. Look at that, love this black with the 68 and the stars. That is nice. Got the silver and red interior. That is a cool little two-piece they did. Oh man, that is nice. And check this out, what is this? Is this a Cadillac? Got the 59 Eldorado, look at that blue. Oh man, that is nice. God, that blue has some nice flake. And check it out guys, you got the little hip hop guy dropping the mic over the city and the hip hop tampos right there on the back. Man, this is clean. It's very skinny, very narrow. I don't think the Eldorados were that, that narrow, but this is a beautiful casting. Definitely like that. What do we got? Uh-oh, we got another R35. Check this out. We got it in a metallic silver. 
This one's got the chrome tent spokes all the way around. Nice tampos, of course. There we go. Man, the R35s need to be cleaned up a little bit, so we'll get those soft brush detailed. And check this out, guys. The Aston Martin 177. Look at this. This is probably my favorite release of that. That is nice. That silver metallic looks almost titanium. Got the gray 10 spokes, the number 77 on the door, and those ghosted stripes running down the center. Oh yeah, this is my favorite release of this casting. Look at that. This is even better than the ID one I have. That looks good. That really captures the lines of that car. Check that out. Next up, ooh, what do we got right there? Looks like some type of custom Camaro. Look at this. This is wild. Oh man, what is this? You guys gotta let me know what the name of this particular casting is. It's definitely a Camaro. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, it's definitely, mm. You guys gotta let me know. This looks, looks like a pro stock type of Camaro. Got the velocity stacks. You got the pink chrome glass. And this wild wing, look at that. This thing has some weight to it. That is cool. I have never seen a casting like this. Got the fenders coming up through the hood. This thing is wild. Look at that. Oh, I know you guys are gonna drop some awesome facts about that one. And then here we go, guys. The 2016 or 2017 Ford GT. There we go. Nice silver metallic. Got the black PR5s, the staggered fitted, of course, and the black stripes running down the center. There we go, another beautiful 4GT. God, that looks good. All right, next one, here we go. We got the new NSX in red. Ooh, that is a nice color. Oh man, that looks good. This is one color I do not have, but check it out when the light hits it, guys. You have a little bit of a burnt orange flake in there. Oh, this is, oh, this is nice. That is a beauty. That is nicely done up, guys. God, I love this color. Oh my God. I have a couple of blues and I thought were nice, but that is gorgeous. Next up, God, guys, we have a lot of stuff in here. It's like we're getting into the Torinos. All right, let's see. This is the 70 Ford Torino and look at this race team livery. Oh man, that pearl white looks good with the Hot Wheels livery on there. The black MC5, he's got the rear window louvers casted into the body. Ooh, that is nice. And then check this out guys. Oh, that green. I tell you, this green is one of their best ones. And I know I say that to all their colors, but Hot Wheels has definitely made their colors just look Great under lighting. Look at that. What is this like a 71 Torino? You guys let me know down in the comments, but love the green with the flames going over the fenders. It is an awesome, awesome color. Look at that. That is such a beauty. All right, next up. <laughs> yeah, can never have enough Supras. Look at that. And here we go, guys. We have this one up in black enamel. Of course, you have the orange tinted glass, two colored 10 spokes on this setup. And then back to back, guys, he threw in the green metallic version of it, which he did send me carded. Now, there is a wheel variation of this one that is extremely rare, and it comes in 10 spokes instead of the PR5. So if you have the PR5s, just know that the 10 spokes is the harder one to find, so don't let that one go. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, we got a Bluebird and a Skyline. Look at that, man. That is an awesome combo. Ooh, this is nice. Look at that, guys. This Skyline livery is awesome, man. Check that out. You got the Skyline taillight tampos, the Nissan livery with the black hood. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Love the roll cage in the back. This is super clean. Oh my God, I love this. Ooh, that is fresh. And then check it out, we got the blue 510 wagon. 
There we go. We got this one carded as well. I think I have one loose, but here we go. I love this blue. You got the red chrome five spokes. It's the JNC Surf Patrol livery. Can never stop looking at some JDMs like that, guys. All right, next up, uh-oh. It's already attached to my hand. Might as well pull it out. Check out this loose Ferrari, guys. This is clean. You got the Ferrari 458 Spider. Look at this bad boy right here. You got the chrome OH5s, the staggered fitment, and the Ferrari badge right there on the hood. Nice headlight detail. Ooh, that is cherry. Followed up right here, guys. Check it out. You got two Dodge Vipers. Looks like you got the SRT and maybe a GTS. Look at this black metallic. That looks good with the number six on the side, the OH5s, red striping running down the center. Got the little Gran Turismo badge. So this might have been out of a Gran Turismo set. Look at that. But check it out guys, followed up back to back with this beautiful Viper right here. Look at that red. Man, that looks good. A little rough around the corners, but it's still an awesome casting. It's got the chrome Wi-Fi's all the way around, the black and silver. I might just remove these stripes, use some nail polish remover, just remove the stripes and make it just a solid metallic red. I think that would look really good. I think I might do that to some of these that have like the stripes that are kind of rubbing off a little bit. Just completely remove them and have them smooth casted. Next up, ooh, look at that color. Oh man, you got, all right, you got the Lamborghini, it looks like the Gallardo and the Murcielago. I don't know which one this is. You guys let me know. I think it's the Murcielago. But I could be wrong, but look at that color. Ooh, that is nice. God, the way the light hits that is just awesome. Chrome PR5s all the way around. Look at that, guys. That is just beauty. Ooh. Followed up right here. You got the yellow Gallardo. Check that out. This is nice. I don't think I have a loose yellow one. I might have it, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I would have recognized this 57 Deco on here, but this is, man, that is nice. Look at that. Black PR5s all the way around. Ooh, that is nice. Back to back, solid Lamborghinis right there. Next up, what do we got? All right, let's see, which one catches my eye? I see another Porsche Panamera. All right, this is a color I have not seen or have in the collection. Look at this Panamera, that's a beautiful orange. It's like very, very light in metallic. It's almost like an enamel. But that looks really good. It's almost like a rust orange. Got the black PR5s all the way around. Nice headlight detail. Ooh, that's nice. Where's the other Panamera? We'll put those together. And then right here, what do we got right here? Ooh, is this the Ford Fusion? <laughs> I haven't seen a casting like this in a long time. Check it out. Nice silver metallic. Got the blue chrome Y5s with the police livery on there. It's a cool casting, blue tinted glass. I don't have that many fusions. I think maybe this is my first one or maybe I have two. Pretty sure I have one, but not 100% sure. And next up, check this out, guys. We got a Zamac Torino. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Gotta clean it up a little bit, but this is an awesome casting. I don't think I have a Zamac Torino, to be honest. Look at that nice blue tinted glass. You got the red and blue flames running down the side. Love the stance of this car. That is an awesome car. Look at that. Ooh, that looks good. Next up, ooh, there we go. We got the Concept Mustang. You guys saw I picked this up last week or maybe two weekends ago at the Trader's Market. We have a second loose one right here. Nice. And then right here, guys, look at this 2014. Oh, this wide body looks so good. You got the yellow PR5s, which I think is an awesome color choice and wheel style for this. So there we go. Love the white with the yellow PR5s. That one's finally loose. I have one carded. All right, and next up, oh yeah, look at that. We have another NSX. Oh man, I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of inquiries about a couple of these JDM castings, but 
Oh, these are going to be hard to let go, guys. Look at this yellow. Oh, man, that looks good. Got the gray trap fives all the way around. Black interior. Nicely done details, front and rear. That is just awesome. This had to have been out of a factory fresh. That is nice. You guys got to let me know which one is your favorite. You have the red metallic or the yellow. I think they look amazing in both colors. Oh man, I'm still gonna have to go with the red on that one, but that yellow is very unique. And then here we go, we have the drag build. I forgot what this casting is. Of course it doesn't say, but you guys let me know down in the comments. Ah, oh, I forgot what it is. Cause I know I have the treasure hunt version of this, but check it out guys, a nice satin white. The yellow tinted glass, the auto meter deco, and of course you have the drag wing in plastic and the OH5s all the way around. Look at this car, man, that is nice. Oh my God, I cannot remember what this is called. I have one. Next up, ooh, there we go. We got a Ford Bronco and check out this brown. That is a nice color, guys. And we've seen this in part one on this casting. Right there, you got it on the Superbird. We have it again on the Ford Bronco, and that's just an awesome color. Of course, you got the off-road five spokes in chrome, nice tan top. Then you got the 08. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that is meaty. And I love that they put the actual tire on there instead of a molded one. Look at that. Next up, ooh, we got some bone shakers and some cougar action. I think I have both of these actually, but like I said, those are still carded and these are loose. That's always good. Check this out. You got the number three with the red metallic. Love the golden black decos on it to match in with the black steelies. Oh, that is just a gorgeous casting. Followed up, you got the Mercury Cougar in the satin green. With the flames and the gray MC5s. This is an awesome casting. I used to have the satin black and white with the 50th anniversary wheels. I swapped out the wheels and then I gave the casting away. But here we go, next one up, we have another NSX and it is a clean 180SX, guys. Look at that Gretty Deco right there. Oh, that is nice. Love the gold PR5s to kind of tie into the Deco. Just really captures that true JDM look. That is just an awesome setup. Oh yeah, that is nice. Followed up, you got the white NSX. Check this out with the chrome PR5s. That is a classic white with the black top look that I love on these cars. I would definitely take the white over a red one any day. It just looks really clean. Then check it out, nicely detailed. So where's the other one at? We will put those together. The yellow and the white one. All right, next up we got some, ooh, here we go. We got another casting with some real riders on it. Look at this. Ooh, that is nice. The Aston Martin DB8? DB5, I don't know where I was thinking eights. Look at that beautiful green metallic with the 63 meatball on there and the black stripes. Oh yeah, that is nice. Love the real riders. Don't know what series this is out of, but that looks so good. God, now it's making me regret not buying all the DB5s I've seen in premiums. And followed up, we have a funny car. Check this out. It's the Firebird funny car. Look at that color. Oh my God, that is nice. Ooh, that is a nice color, man. This was back when they had the opening body. This one hasn't opened up that well because it's never needed to be opened. Man, that is nice. That color is just, mm, they need to put that on more cars. Cause look at that, it looks really good on the Lamborghini and it also looks good on that funny car. We're almost done with the loose castings. Check this out, we have the Honda S2000 in red. <laughs> and the Integra, check that out. Oh man, you guys know I gotta love the JDMs with the red interior. <laughs> that is clean. Look at that, and it actually has taillight decos. You got the Hot Wheels Flame and the Acura. Oh yeah, those are some awesome wheels to have on there, the OH5s. 
Love this pearl white though, that is nice. Ooh, that is clean, man. And then followed up, you got the Honda S2000 hardtop, which I think these kits look amazing on the car. I think they should have all came hardtop like that. But look at that, nice detail on the back. Chrome PR5s, nice headlight detail. And you have the Ryu Asada window banner right there. That is an awesome, awesome casting right here. Love the matching heat extractors for the Integra and the S2000. And then right here we have the Volkswagen Squareback. Look at this, this is nice. Nice seafoam color with the purple and yellow deco with the piece. What is that, 69 square back? Oh yeah, that is nice. That is nice. This is out of the Hot Wheels art cars and it's the W. Check this out, the Fair Lady. Look at this color. Ooh, that is nice. Usually I'm not a fan of cream, but that red interior and the striping, that just looks really good on this car, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, black MC5 with the gold ring. Man, that's a nice casting. I have a few variations of these. I know I gave some away and God, just looking at the variations of those, that's an awesome cast. Next up, ooh, look at this Bronco. Ooh, this lime green and black. Oh, that is nice. Love the 88 race number theme on there. You got the gold bead locks. Look at that, guys, that is nice. See, and that's the one thing I wish they didn't do was that molded wheel right there. If they only stuck to doing it like this, which I'm pretty sure that costs a little bit extra. But overall, guys, this casting is nice. Oh yeah, I'm a huge fan of that. All right, next up, oh, this one actually fell out. It's the El Camino, look at that. It's the Iron Fist, you got the nice purple metallic, the real riders with the yellow ring. That's interesting, I've never seen that. Typically it's red, but there's always the first guys, but look at this El Camino, that is nice. That looks good. All right, next up. Ooh, look at that Camaro. And you got the RWB Porsche, no freaking way. <laughs> Dude, I've been wanting this RWB for the longest time. Oh my God, that is nice. Oh man, that is nice. I have the purple and I've always wanted to get my hands on the satin black RWB. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I finally got it. Finally freaking got it, man. That is nice. And then check this out. This awesome looking Camaro in the satin green with the red and, oh my God, this setup is nice. That is, that is a color scheme you would never think would work. If I came up to you and said, I want my car to be satin, a flat, a satin lime green, red interior, black and red stripes and gray wheels, you wouldn't think it would look good, but look at that. This IROC looks amazing in this setup right here. Wow, I am a fan of this one. That is nice. Pete over at Old Man Diecast, if you're watching it up to this point, I hope you agree, that is a beautiful IROC right there. All right, next up, oh, there we go. We got another one of these. I wanna say it's like a Hudson or, oh, I'm not even gonna guess. Here we go, another beautiful car right here in this brown metallic and check it out. You have the Stunt Deco, Stunt Team. There you go, the other side was worn off. You got the black and pink checkered flag. You got the zero one right there, and of course you still have the casted wing and the chrome OH5s all the way around. Oh man, this is a wicked build. Next up, ooh, there we go, the Aristorat. You guys saw I just picked up that one. At least I have good taste, guys. At least I have good taste because I think this thing is awesome. And now I got two of them in this beautiful purple metallic. <laughs> nice. Here we go, we got the S550 in this beautiful metallic orange. Little pearlescent orange. And the black and purple deco. Not a fan of the gray wheels, um, but at least I have this one loose because I have it carded. I can actually do a wheel swap on that, so that is awesome. 
All right, next one up. Ooh, we got another 177 and a Zamac. Check that out, guys. First up, we have the Aston Martin 177 in this white. It's not pearl, it's just a white enamel. Got the black PR5s with the blue chrome, blue tinted glass. Oh yeah, that is nice. But I still definitely prefer, where's it at? Where's the one that we just opened up earlier? This one. That silver metallic is just, man, you cannot compete against that one. Then next up guys, check this out. We have the BMW Zamac. Look at this. This looks like an E30. BMW 2002. Look at this, man, that is nice. I love that, man. I do not have one of these. Gotta love the old gen like Nas. Nas is a huge fan of the old, like E30 square body style Beamers. Ooh, next up, here we go. We got a T-Bird and a Ferrari. All right, first up, we got another awesome brown metallic casting, the T-Bird with the flames. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Chrome lace wheels with a staggered fitment and nice rake to it. Check that out. Man, that is nice. This is an awesome casting. I definitely overlooked a lot of those. And then here we go, we have a Ferrari, but which version is this? It's the Ferrari 356. This is so tiny. But look at that, I have never seen this deco. Got a black enamel and some sort of, uh, oh, okay, it's more like an 80s style metal deco. It's kind of cool, you got the electric guitar right there, purple interior, definitely screams 80s rock. Look at that. I have never seen this one before. It's always good to have a Ferrari that you don't see too often. Uh, next up, ooh, look at this El Camino. <laughs> oh man, I love this. This is a 72? 71, ah, so close. The front ends are the exact same, basically. The 71 El Camino with the Superman livery and those real riders. Looks like they got chewed up a little bit. Man, that's an awesome casting. Look at that. Man, hopefully I can save those wheels. All right, next up we have, ooh, another Integra, yes! Oh, I love getting the variations, guys. Look at this yellow Integra with the black OH5s. Awesome freaking casting. Ooh, I didn't know it had the canards right there on the front. Oh yeah, this Type R yellow, that looks really good. So we'll put that one there. And then we got the RX-7 in a sky blue. This is nice. Is this a mystery car because of the number two? I'll go ahead and leave it up to you guys to comment down below, but oh man, that looks good. Love the yellow ring on the MC5s. God, that is nice. Almost done with the loose cars. Ooh, and here we go. We have another, look at this green. Ooh, that is nice. It's the Mastretta MXR. I think I only have one of these and it came out of a multi-pack. Look at that green. Oh, that Pearl Lesson is just beautiful. Got the nice tail lights done up right there. You got the chrome MC5s and check out that front end. Man, that looks good. This is a nice casting. I think I have a blue one or maybe a purple one of that one. Right here guys, you got the silver RX-7. Another beautiful metallic flake in this one. You got the MC5s with the yellow ring to tie in that deco. Mmm, that is good. That is good right there. Let's go ahead and put those right next to each other. All right, and then next up we have, ooh, there we go. We got the 68 El Caminos. Oh, and you got it in Zamac. Check that out. Nice. Got the green and yellow stripe, MC5s with the gold ring. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. More variations, and to follow up, we have this one. I wanna say I picked the same color up at the Trader's Market, but it was rough. If we did, it is awesome to have it in good condition. Look at this. Beautiful color setup. Nice, back to back color variations. All right guys, what do we got in here? Oh my God. There are some freaking gems in here. 
Look at that. You got the CRX, the 85 CRX. Ooh, that looks good. Oh man, he sent this one carded and we have it loose. Ooh, next up, what do we got? Oh wow, check this out. Is this the muscle tone? That pink metallic? Got the massive FTE2 wheels on there, so that means this thing is quick on the track. Look at that deco. That is wild. Oh my God, guys, there is so much stuff in here. You got the Subaru STI. Oh, that is nice. That Subaru blue with the Tsunami scoop. Check it out, it's actually cut out. You can see inside of that. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh my God, there's so much. You got the green Lotus Esprit. I actually have this one, it's out of a multi-pack. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice, love the green. Of another tuned Countach. <laughs> Look at that blue metallic, ooh. This one also has the FTE Trap 5s on there. Nice. Oh man, that is nice. We are collecting the tuned Countaches right there, guys. There is so much, and check it out. You got the Dodge Challenger, guys. Look at this. Oh man, so this is what the Roger Dodger is casted off of. A lot of people didn't know at first. You know, everyone's like, oh, the Roger Dodger. They thought it was just a fantasy casting, but nope, it is based off of this car right here. Look at that Mopar livery and that red. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, <laughs> how are you just gonna have an R33 just chilling in a loose bag like that? Oh man, that is nice. That is nice. Oh, and look at that, we have another Sesto Elemento. Nice. So this one, I actually might take off the stripes. As you can see, it's a little bit rougher around the edges on those, so I might remove those have a striped version and a non-striped version. I think next up, <laughs> we just got a bag of goodies, guys. Look at this R34 in metallic blue. Ooh, that is nice. Gold PR5s all the way around. No headlight tampos, but of course you have to have the taillights for the R35s on there. Nice. I had my eye on this when we first opened it. Check out this Advan livery Fair Lady Z right here. Ooh, that looks good. Got the red base, got the Kaido house right there on the front hood with the 74. And check that out, guys. You have the nice red floors, charcoal metallic interior. Ooh, that is nice. And we got a purple one. <laughs> oh, man, you guys remember he sent one carded and I just fell in love with this color. Look at this R33, man, that is nice. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, man. We got blue, we got purple. Ooh, next up we have the nice blue metallic Lamborghini Mira. Look at that, he also sent this one carded. Whew, man, that blue and gold just, that is an awesome Mira. Gorgeous. Another pass and gasser in green. There we go. We saw that this was a mystery model. We opened it in part one. It is sitting right over there. So there we go. We got two of those. We have the green Centenario. Look at that. Mm. That thing is aggressive. Absolutely love the Centenario. That thing is nice. Followed in the same green, you have the Mercedes AMG GT. Look at that. I have this one loose as well, so it's good to have a duplicate. Nice taillight tampos, though. Actually, this thing is done up front and back. Man, that looks good. All right, next up we have, ooh, there we go. We've got the Porsche 944 in a silver metallic. I think this is the Magnus Walker one. Yeah, I think it is with the gold J5s all the way around or bronze. Mmm, that is nice. 
All right, next up, ooh, there we go. We got another red NSX, but this is just a red enamel. Look at that, chrome Y5s, ooh, man. Oh man, I love the fact that he is hooking me up with multiple variations. Where's the other one's at? Uh, are we that far up already? What do we do with the other? Oh, there they are. They're right there, literally. Boom! Oh, look at this. We have another fair lady. Oh, ho, ho, man. And I used to have this. And I actually gave it away in a trade. Here we go, guys. Beautiful pearlescent yellow. With the number two and the black racing stripes. Oh, that is so clean. Here we go. Sitting right there. Ooh, here we go. Look at this, the Lamborghini Reventon. The Reventon? Uh, yeah, the Reventon Roadster. Ooh. You guys already know, I'm not even gonna say any more. That color is just gorgeous. You got the gold trap fives all the way around. Got the black and gold racing stripes running down the center, and I love how the glass just molds around that car. Look at that. It looks almost as identical as the Centenario. That is nice. The Bugatti, there we go. The black metallic flake, look at this one. Got the chrome J5s all the way around. Oh man, I really, really hope one day to get my hands on the satin blue and the satin red. I know those ones are really hard to come by. If you guys remember, I did find the satin blue one in really rough shape. But man, gotta love the Bugattis, guys. Here we go. Look at this, satin silver. I have never seen this version. It is the Sesto Elemento with the gray trap fives, red interior, and the red accents. But look at that satin silver finish. Ooh, that is nice. That is clean. We got three Sestos. Next one up, here we go. We have the Ferrari Testarossa with the basic black wall wheels. Look at this one. I want to say I have a basic black wall wheel, and I think the Ultra Hots in I believe either silver or gold is the Canadian exclusive and I'm trying to get my hands on that but can never go wrong with this black Testarossa there we go guys next up we have the Mazda Miata or the MX-5 with the Mad Mike livery in white nice I do have this one loose I have it in the satin blue and the satin white so here goes a duplicate, but an awesome one. I love how they have the lace wheels up front and the MC5s out back. Definitely a traditional drift style car. Next up, all right, here we go. We got the Ford Fiesta. Here we go, this one's out of the, um, the Checkmate series. It's got the pawn on there, the black and lime green. And you got the OH5 small all the way around, but I love the black and lime green. It just really makes it pop. Kind of gives it that Gymkhana look. There we go. I have a lot of variations of this. It's also another favorite casting, and I never realized it has a full roll cage in there. Look at that. Nice. We got a BMW. Look at this. Oh, that M Sport design looks really good on this pearl white. Man, that is nice. Got a dark blue interior. I haven't seen that that often. That looks nice. Got the black PR5s with the white white ring, and it is the M3. Look at that. Man, that is clean. Love the heat extractors and the hoods on these beamers. They just look super aggressive. Next up, <laughs> look at this. We have yet again another 599XX Ferrari in this charcoal metallic. Oh man, that is back to back to back. There we go, we'll put it with the other one. So we got two 599XX. Looks like they have the same wheel variation, so nothing different. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, look at this. The Porsche 356. Ooh, this is a nice deco. I have the premium version of this with the real riders, but I've never seen this one 
with the purple meatball and the purple striping work. Look at that. Got the black steelies all the way around. Yeah, that is nice. The 50 on that one's higher. This one is super low. So a little bit of a tampo shift. Not much of an error, but it is a slight tampo error, but it's still, look at that guys. Oh, I love the little 356s. Hey, it's the Honda Monkey. Look at that guys. Got that beautiful pearlescent green with the Honda Tampos. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, and it stands. I like it. This one up. Oh, yes. We got another McLaren F1 GTR, guys. Check this out. Nice. I'm trying to track down as many variations of this one as well. I know this was another re release for 2022, and I can't wait to find it, guys. It's a beautiful light blue with red, I believe it is. Oh, it's so nice. But look at this. Got the black and red tampos with the F1 and the gray 10 spokes all the way around. Nice headlight tampos, red interior. Oh, that is nice. We have another Dodge Viper. I think this is the ACR. This one is the GTSR, my bad. Nice blue metallic and the Hot Wheels race team livery. I do have one of these loose, so it's awesome to have another one, guys. Next up we have, ooh, here we go. We got the Mitsubishi Eclipse Security Deco. Look at that, you gotta clean it up a little bit, but you got the blue tinted full glass top, and you do have the chrome J5s all the way around, but look at that. I don't think I have another Eclipse of this generation as a casting. There we go, look at that, that is nice. Next up we have the Chevy Volt. Look at this little drag beast right here. Look at that, number eight livery, the red metallic, and the massive Blue Trap 5s all the way around. That looks really good. That fitment's nice. Of course, you have that massive electric motor coming out the front. And, of course, the parachute drag setup. Look at that. I do have the mystery model of this. I think this one's better. I think this one would probably look better as the mystery model. Unless it already is. You guys let me know down in the comments. Next up, what do we got? <laughs> hey, we got another Ford Focus. Nice, can never have enough of these bad boys. Definitely loving the blue. Let's see, is it a wheel variation from the one earlier? No, it is not. So we got two PR5 Ford Focuses in blue. Next up, ooh, look at that. Oh, that is clean. Another satin black 85 CRX. I have not seen this variation before. Look at that, you got the black OH5s with the green chrome, and you do have like the Rasta style stripes on there. You guys gotta let me know if that is legit Rasta or if it's supposed to be something else. So we got two satin black variations. Where's the other one at? Oh, there we go. We got the 85, and now we got the smoke tinted glass. Look at that. Next one is, there we go, we got the Lamborghini Gallardo with the yellow Trap 5s, look at that. Now I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the Trap 5s, but I think they look good. To be honest, I think it's one of my favorite non-realistic sized wheel. There you go, you got blue on blue, that looks good. So it's the LP560-4, so 560 horsepower, four wheel drive, or all wheel drive, whichever you wanna say. Next one up, guys, we have the Volkswagen Golf in this pearl white, check that out. Some massive red chrome Y5s all the way around. Got some nice detail, it got the red line grill for the Volkswagen, and then on the back, some nice detailed tail lights right there. That's clean. Love that little wide body it has on there. Next one up, guys, is that lime green Lamborghini Super Trofeo. Look at that, guys. Got the gray 10 spokes all the way around. I do have a few variations of this particular casting, but I think this lime green one is my favorite one. So there we go. We got two loose Super Trofeos in the collection. And then next up, we have a Mercury Cougar. Look at that, nice yellow enamel with the red six, my lucky number. Definitely do like this deco. 
Got the Hot Wheels style. Kind of like how the race car driver's names are on the roof. Definitely love it. Supposed to have the red chrome trim on those MC5s, but there we go. We got another Mercury Cougar variation. Go ahead and set that one right next to that. All right, and then the next one is, I think this is the Lamborghini from Fast and the Furious. It is the Gallardo LP 560-4 again, but with the chrome lace wheels. There we go, this one's in really good condition. That white enamel looks super fresh. Man, that's nice. We got the blue ones, put the blue and the whites together. Next one is the Porsche 917 in white. Oh, this is one of my favorite Porsche castings. I think it's just an awesome car. If you guys have the blue psychedelic one, that one's based off an actual 917. But man, this looks so good. I have every variation of this casting. I think there's six of them. Um, I have all of them and this one makes a number two white golf in the collection. There we go, nice. I've always wanted to open up one of those. Next one up is the red S2000, but this is not just your red enamel like the one prior, wherever that one is, somewhere over here. It is the nice red metallic with the chrome 10 spokes. This thing is looking so good. Look at that nice tail light detail. Everything is done up. So we'll go ahead and put that one with the red. Oh yeah, look at that difference, guys. Let me know which one you like best. I definitely gotta go with the dark red metallic. Ooh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and straighten this out. It's kind of bothering me. Right, next one is, ooh, there we go, another Bronco. Man, these things are loaded, but check this out. You got the gold bead locks, nice teal roll bars, and it looks like a Zamac, is it? I think this is a Zamac, guys. Check that out. <laughs> I thought it was a silver metallic, but nope, it is a raw Zamac finish with the surfs up little tsunami wave on there. Nice. All right, cool, we'll set that one right over there. Boom, three Broncos. Next one, uh, let's go with this one. Ooh, there we go, the nice BMW, what is it, the M4? Yep, there we go, the M4 with the nice lime green metallic. It's a nice color scheme. You got the headlight and grill done up, the tail lights. Yep, M4 with the chrome PR5s. Sweet. Next up, we have a Mustang, and it is the 2010. I believe it's the 2010. Yep, 2010 Mustang GT in yellow enamel with the black MC5s with the red ring. I do have this one as well. I believe I have like two also loose. So there we go, makes number three. Next up is the, <laughs> yeah buddy. We have another Integra guys, there we go. The Black Boost Brigade. Now all I still need is the white. Um, maybe I picked it up at the Trader's Market. Um, but either way guys, another beautiful Integra variation to have in the collection. Um, I think this makes number two, but I still prefer that white one with the red interior, that is probably my favorite one so far. That is clean. All right, next up we have another Evo. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and this one has the Gran Turismo Deco on there with the number 08 on the side, representing the 2008 Lancer Evolution. Got the black 10 spokes all the way around. I love how the lenses are actually a part of the windshield. That is sweet how they did that. Next up is another Porsche. It's the 944 in this beautiful champagne metallic or sandstone. There we go. You got the nice taillight, black PR5s, and then of course, the little Easter egg of the stethoscope right there in the back. Nice. Put that one right next to the silver. Next up, Oh yeah, the Bissimoto Civic Type R. I have only one of these. I have one in red as well. But man, the Bissimoto Type R is super clean, guys. Look at that detail. Absolutely love this casting. Now, when I had my other Instagram page, I actually tagged Bissimoto in it, and my man actually liked the photo. So I thought that was super cool. The man behind Bissimoto actually liked the picture I tagged him in. I thought it was I thought it was neat. So 
There we go, the blue Bissimoto is another favorite. Last loose casting in this, oh yeah, the Honda Odyssey. <laughs> oh man, look at that guys. The silver metallic, the yellow tinted glass, the PR fives, oh man. So this was another casting, not this particular variation, but in the red um, was a Bissimoto build. He built this Honda Odyssey and it was like 600 horsepower or something like that. But yeah guys, this is one casting I do not have and I've always wanted a Honda Odyssey just because look at that. It is just unique and cool, man. You got the rear diffusers. Oh man, that is nice. So the Bissimoto, Civic and Abyssimoto inspired Honda Odyssey. Nice way to wrap up that bag, guys. And the rest look like it's carded. Let's go ahead and get straight to these. Let's go with this bundle right here. What is this? It's a color change. Ooh, there we go. Look at this color shifting 67 Camaro, guys. Oh my God, that is nice. Look at that, that black and red just looks so menacing. So it looks like it goes from red to black. So man, that is an awesome, awesome deco on that car. Kind of running out of room here. Look at this little car lot we got going on. Next up is a first edition and it, oh <laughs> yes. Oh my dude, man. Oh my God. It's almost like you read my mind. 2003 first edition Bugatti Veyron, guys, in red and black. Yes. I've been wanting to get my hands on this Bugatti for so long, just like I mentioned earlier, guys. I'm trying to get the satin blue and the satin red, and this is just another one I can add to the collection. Nice. Collector 30 out of 2003's release. Look at this beauty. Oh, I am stoked, man. Stoked. Oh, dude, nice. <laughs> he threw in the premium, my dude. You got the Simpsons family car in the, this awesome movie release or cinema release. I forgot what these are called, um, but check that out, nice. Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we got the premium. My man hooked me up with the wheel variation over there in the five spokes, and the other one has the MC5. Ooh, and next one up. Oh, look at that. I have not seen this. Look at the Lamborghini Huracan in this charcoal metal. Oh my God, that is nice. When did this, when did this come out? 2018, are you serious? How did I miss that? Dude, that is nice. Look at those six spoke real riders. Oh my God, that is nice. That is nice. Oh dude, my man is hooking it up with the premiums. <laughs> Look at this, oh man. Dude, the Corvette C7R Premium out of the Gran Turismo lineup. Look at that red, oh my gosh. Oh, that is nice. That is wicked nice. And look at the cars in this lineup. Oh, there's that Ford GT. You got the Veneno, I have that one. The C7, the GTR. And you got the Concept 2020 Vision. Ooh, those are nice looking. I only need the t those two to finish this series. <laughs> oh, dude, nice. Next up we have, there we go, the Ecto-1. Nice, and we just watched the newest Ghostbusters movie, and I thought it was actually really good. Check that out, they did this up in a nice pearl white. Nice, man. This is a 2015, 2016 release. Hitting it with the legends, man. Oh, and check this out, taxi. I don't know what this is, I'm not familiar with this, but you got a 74 checker taxi cab. Look at that, that detail work is awesome. Oh man, 2015, 2016 as well. You guys gotta let me know what this is from. I mean, I'm assuming it's from a movie called Taxi, but 
I do not know what this is. I'm not familiar with it at all. But that is awesome. Random cars. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. It just does not end. Got the Gran Turismo release Lamborghini Aventador LP700. Oh, that is nice. I think he sent me this in the last one or maybe he sent me a loose one, but either way guys, Lamborghini out of this Gran Turismo set is just legendary. Dude, I am running out of room, seriously. Oh my God, look. More Gran Turismo cars, what is it? <laughs> he sent the whole set. Look at this, you remember this guys? This one was earlier in the loose ones. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Boom. He sent it carded as well and the Ford GT to support it. Oh my God. And then you got the Pagani Huayra. Ooh. Oh man. But man, we got the full Gran Turismo lineup. Check it out, the SRT 10. Oh my God, that is nice. That is this one right there. Up in the heat and that, oh my God. I did not know that was, dude, so he sent these carded and loose. So my man sent me the full set carded and loose. Dude, this guy is killing me. All right, next, oh my God, I give up, I give up. That's it, I give up, I'm done.